What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. I have some news for you. Um, <clears throat> all right, well, the main point of this video is for this orchid here. We'll get to that one in a minute. This is one of my Phalaenopsis orchids that is over a year old, um, at least in my care. This was in sphagnum moss. I removed all the moss because most of the roots were dead, as usually happens when you get store-bought orchids, especially in supermarkets, places like that. So I put it into um, full water culture, and then I migrated it from full water culture to semi-water culture. So before we go any further, just look at these beautiful roots. And I, I think I've done a video on this uh, before. The vase is almost completely filled with roots, which is fine. Um, very light fertilizer. I have orchid fertilizer. I think it's 10, 10, 10. Um, and what I do is I fill up, I, I drenched all the roots, pour it out, and then I leave about an inch of the water on the bottom for the plant to just drink up for the rest of the week. Um, I have this, uh, about three feet away from a south facing window. And now that the weather has changed and the temperature has changed, we have a spike. That's right. Very excited. Oop, let me get this to focus. Hold on. There you go. So we've got a spike. This is just a root. So just ignore this row root back here. But we got a spike and very exciting. Um, one of these leaves is on its way out, this one down here, but I'm not going to pull it. I'm going to let the plant absorb the nutrients from that leaf. Um, it grew two new leaves. Uh, I believe it was two new leaves. And then after that is when the growth stalled and all of a sudden we got this spike. And the spike is growing relatively quickly. Now, one thing that I also started doing about two months ago, I'd say, instead um, of giving it the fertilizer that I was giving it, I started to use a very weak green tea solution that I would... Um, I would fortify the water with. So instead of it just being uh, water, and instead of it being water with the fertilizer, I started using green tea. I know that it's high in nitrogen and some other trace minerals, I think calcium's in there too, which orchids love. And sure enough, um, you know, it is healthy as can be. The root system is extremely, <laughs> extremely healthy. I can't get over this thing. <laughs> it's just out of control. I'm gonna have to like find a new base. Um, yeah. But uh, this plant is doing really well. I, I was really concerned about it for a while because these lower leaves had um, dehydrated early on. And you know how orchid leaves are. A lot of times they never bounce back fully. So they were always kind of droopy. And I said, oh, this orchid's compromised. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm just going to ignore it and treat it like it is fine. Sure enough, we got leaves. We got a spike. Um, definitely enough roots. As you can see... It is time for me to water this plant because the roots are completely dry and they've been completely dry for a few days now. So this one will be watered and I will add in my green tea. What I do is I take a tea bag and I don't use hot water. I use maybe room temperature warm, lukewarm water uh, with the tea bag. And um, that way the, the tea that comes out into the water is kind of weak. And I save the bag, let it dry. Next time I water, I do the same thing with the same tea bag until um, the water that I'm using with the tea bag is pretty much clear water when all the tea has been removed um, or the extracts from the tea. So oh, this is not focusing very well. There we go. But anyway, uh, just very exciting. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get any blooms this season or any spikes, but we are we're on our way, so I'm very excited about that. The next orchid I'm gonna show you is this one here. We don't have a bloom spike on here, but this one was not doing well in semi-water culture. It's very, it's a very thirsty orchid. Um, you can see this uh, new leaf kind of got stunted. So what I did was I put it into some acrylic yarn and those roots just went Crazy. So what I did was the roots were kind of high 
and I put the yarn on the bottom. The roots grew into the yarn and they're thrilled, as you can see. They're all over the place. Um, I give the same treatment to this one that I do the other that's blooming, which is now just the green tea, very mild green tea solution. Um, and I'll probably bounce back and forth with the orchid fertilizer as well. Uh, I don't know if this one's gonna spike for me. I don't know if we're gonna get blooms, but it definitely was a prolific leaf grower. <laughs> As you can see, there's six leaves on here. Um, let me see if there's anything new growing. All right, there's nothing new growing in there, which leads me to believe there may be a spike on the way, but I don't wanna hold my breath because sometimes they just kinda of calm down for a little bit. And, uh, but we'll see. I mean, lots and lots of roots growing. I really don't see any signs of a spike anywhere. So I will just keep doing what I'm doing. And this is in the same place as the other orchid. They are both about three feet away from a south facing window. And uh, yeah, but now that it's getting cooler at night, uh, it's starting to show signs of blooming. I'm very excited, I'm very excited. I can't even remember what color this is. I think this is a really pretty kind of um, like a deep, I don't wanna say purple, almost like a maroon. I can't remember the color. It's almost like an orange maroon. I don't know how to explain it, but maybe mauve. I don't know. Anyway, once this blooms, I'll show you guys only because it's just so much fun to watch this happen. Um, if you have any questions about semi-water culture, letting the roots dry out, or um, using the acrylic yarn like I have here with a lot of my other plants as well, just let me know. Um, <laughs> this one definitely looks healthier in the acrylic yarn, but I think it's just the actual plant. I don't think it has anything to do with the yarn. The roots are healthy, obviously. You can see they're growing all like crazy. Uh, if you have any questions on that method, just reach out as usual. And if you have not, it would be cool if you would like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. And I will see you in the next video.